Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Jeremiah's J Man Manero with J Man Speaks with some quick tips on how to help you be better, look better, sound better when using Zoom. We're all on Zoom a lot these days. All I want to do is I'm a Zoom, Zoom, Zoom in a room, room, right? So here are some quick tips to help you on your next Zoom call. First, what I'd like for you to do is integrate your Google. If you're a big Google Calendar guy or, or Outlook person, uh, you can integrate that into your Zoom account so that when you want to schedule a meeting, it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You just go to your calendar, hit schedule the appointment, hit add to Zoom. It creates the meeting for you, sends it to all the people. Second, profile pick and Google integration is done. First, let me start with the profile pick. Right? You want to be sure that you go in there, you upload something so that when you are in the Zoom and you pause your video, something comes up besides your name. It could be branded. It could be a picture of you at the computer like you see mine, or it could be uh, whatever you want it to be. Entirely up to you. Maybe a message pertaining to what you'll be talking about. Uh, if, and if I bring this full screen, you can see you know, that's where you integrate. Allow Zoom to get calendar event. Allow Zoom to sync your contacts. All right. Next. You've heard of the Zoom bombing, okay? It's not as scary as you think. The FBI has not warned you to switch from Zoom to all other platforms. Uh, Zoom has actually updated their security settings. As you can see here, I'll bring this up again. You're gonna go in and every person, if you haven't done an update yet, you should, because this is what you'll get. You'll be able to enable the waiting room and or lock the meeting if you have any issues with Zoom bombing, okay? Zoom bombing just means Uninvited guests show up to your meeting and they may do some inappropriate things or they may just make a ruckus. Either way, kick them out, lock the meeting down, but make sure that you enable the waiting room, especially if you're going to be using it for real estate where you have to talk to your client before you let the other agent and their clients into the room. Okay, that's the waiting room. Imaginary, right? Okay, let's talk about dressing for success. Uh, I know that uh, some of you just get out of bed. You like, it's time for my Zoom. Okay, well, at least do your hair. If I had just my t-shirt on, look. If I put my jacket on, boom, I'm already dressed for success. I could be wearing pajamas from the waist down. It's fine. Nobody will know, but I would encourage you not to go to the bathroom where people can see you from the waist down if that's going to be the case. Okay, so dress for success. Uh, if you're doing virtual showings and stuff like that, they should be able to know who the agent is and who the client is, right? We gotta be the more professional person. Virtual backgrounds. Right now you can see this is plain Jane uh, behind me. That's kind of blah, uh, but here are some examples. I made that in canva.com. You just go in there and go zoom virtual background, okay? I'll give you a little zoom action there. But you go zoom virtual background. They have it templated already. You can upload photos that you want or they already have photos in there for you, okay? Go in there again, canva.com, it's free. Then you can upload your logo and add to it to make it a little bit better. Now, everybody's like, oh man, how can I look prettier? Well, I'm not a plastic surgeon, but I can help you look at least a little bit better. Number one is the camera angle. Uh, the camera here is facing me, right? It's at eye level or even below is a little bit better. So then this doesn't happen. However, you don't want to have your phone like this on Zoom and everybody's looking up your nose. What happens is, Look, okay. extra chins are created if you do that. So don't do that, okay? But what you can also do, do I look pretty? Yeah, so you enable your HD because that's how you look. Uh, you check the button that says touch up my appearance. Um, and then the other the other meeting settings, I like spotlight my video when I'm speaking. If you're the host of the, video, of the, uh, the Zoom, always show video preview dialog. Turn off my video when I join a meeting just in case I'm fixing my hair or something. And always display a uh, participant name on the videos. These are all great tips, but it all starts with you looking your best. And then, of course, the lighting can make a big difference, right? I'm using, uh, I don't know, it's a 12-inch ring light right now. You can see the difference if I go like this. Turn it off. Create shadows on that. Okay, but typically a good ring light will have three settings. It'll have white, it'll have cool, uh, warm, and then, or warm, warm yellow, warm white, yeah. Warm orange, warm three three colors. Okay, that's what it'll have typically, and then it should have dimmable sighting uh, settings so that if I go like this, you can see that it gets brighter or dimmer, and that makes a difference in how I look. Okay, I think that's about it, folks. Uh, last but not least, this is what I want to say. I was on the other day with another real estate agent, and he said, "Realtor, 
realtor. Okay, if you're a real tour, real tour. Okay, there's two syllables. Number one, you don't say docator. So why would you say realtor? Let's stay professional. Let's understand that that's the brand of our industry. It means we're a member of the National Association of Realtors. It sets us apart from the pack. The last thing you want to do is mispronounce it. All right. So this is Jeremiah J. Man Manero with J. Man Speaks. Make it a great day.